Well, I'm excited to demonstrate a product today. It's gonna to allow you to mount your trail camera not only simply and securely, it's gonna be a sturdy way to mount your trail camera to a T-post. You'll be able to appreciate that this product offers good old American ingenuity. That's because not only was it designed here in the US, it is actually made in Texas. So check out the T-Mate, it's a T-post camera mount. Now, as I already mentioned, the T-Mate is a simple, sturdy, and secure way to mount your trail camera to a T-Post. Art Greep from Gunny Art Products LLC not only designed this product, but he was gracious enough to reach out to me and send me some of these T-Post mounts to try and to demonstrate for today's video. These mounts are universal because they'll work with cameras with or without threaded mounts. They also allow you to lock your trail camera to a T-Post. They consist of an all steel construction and have an ultra durable powder coat finish that are tough and resistant and will hold up to anything that mother nature can throw at them. Now I'm gonna be placing a link right above me here that's gonna take you directly to Art's website where he sells this product, but you're also gonna to wanna to check out my description because there's gonna be a discount code. It's specifically for viewers of my channel. It's gonna save you money for any purchases on Art's website. But now let's look closer at the T-Mate trail camera mount. Now why use the T-Mate and a T-Post to mount your trail camera? Well, I'm sure Art's original design came out of necessity. In Texas, where he's at, and in many other parts of the country, there are very few trees to mount trail cameras on. And if you do find the perfect location to put a trail camera, more than likely, there won't be a suitable tree there to mount your trail camera. That's where this T-Mate and T-Post come in handy. But now here on my farm, I run cattle and have miles of fencing, so I already utilize a lot of T-Post in my daily operation but you'll find many other applications for the T-Post and the T-Mate. T-Posts are extremely sturdy. You can pound them into the ground and although I use a homemade post pounder, because again, I use a lot of T-Post, you can simply pound the T-Post in using a sledgehammer. I find placing the trail camera in a perfect location is very important to capture those stunning videos or pictures using your trail camera. In fact, if you watch my trail camera videos on my YouTube channel, I get some very unique shots from my trail camera and that's because I put them in the perfect location. Now you might see them down in a stream bed where there's simply not a tree down in the stream and that's where I'll use a T-post to get that perfect camera angle every time. Another application where I use the T-mate and T-post is in the food plot or along the field edge. Again, I like to find the perfect location to put the trail camera, and then that's the exact place I want the trail camera. I don't wanna to have to move 10, 20 yards away to find a suitable tree. I can simply pound in a T-post, use the T-mate, and get that perfect trail camera angle every time. In the case of the food plot where I'm standing now, I can place the T-post out in the middle of the plot, looking back towards the wood edge. Many people will place their trail camera at the wood edge looking out into their food plot, but you can lose a lot of valuable information that way. Again, I like to put my T-post out in the middle of the plot looking back towards the woods so I can see exactly where the deer are entering into my food plot. This teammate allows me to run my trail camera anywhere in that food plot and to capture the most useful information. Now the teammate is a universal mount, meaning it can be used with trail cameras that have a quarter 20 mount on the bottom or the back of the camera. In fact, if your camera doesn't have any quarter 20 mount, you can use a tree strap in conjunction with this teammate and the T-post. The T-Mate can be adjusted for height. You can move it as low to the ground or as high on that T-Post as you would like. Once mounted to the post, your trail camera is extremely sturdy, but you can add an additional layer of security by using a Python cable in conjunction with the T-Mate. Now the Python cable is not included, but the mounting hardware that comes with the T-Mate is Python cable compatible. Another option that the T-Mate allows you to do if you want to discard the T-Post and screw this directly to a tree, a wall, or a wooden post, you do have that option. There are also other accessories available on Art's website, such as a sunshade to protect your trail camera from the sun's rays. If you're in an extremely hot area, that can be a great option to make your trail camera last longer. 
In fact, I've also found it useful to use that sunshade option that's sold separately on his website to mount a solar panel on top of my trail camera. Now the sunshade serves as a dual purpose, not only to keep the sunlight and weather directly off the top of your trail camera, it also gives a location to mount my solar panel within close proximity of my trail camera. Again, this is a great option for food plots or field edges where you can mount your trail camera virtually anywhere and have your solar panel mounted directly above your trail camera, collecting every bit of the sunlight. So what are my final thoughts, the pros and cons as I see it after actually using the Teammate? Well, as I already mentioned, I think it's a great option. Whether you're using a $30 camera or a $600 cell camera, this allows you to place that trail camera in the perfect location. You have a simple, secure, and sturdy way to mount your trail camera. Another positive is this universal mount allows me to place my trail camera exactly where I want it to. No more searching for the perfect tree or having to move my trail camera to a less than perfect spot simply because that's the only place I can find a tree. Now I can find the perfect location, put in a T post and use the teammate to get that perfect shot every time. I love the fact that this product is not only invented but made right here in the USA. Again, it has an all steel construction and it has a very durable powder coat finish on the teammate. I like the flexibility that it offers you when mounting your trail camera. Again, if your trail camera has the quarter 20 mount on the bottom or the back, or if you wanna use a tree strap, all options are available with this design. The last positive that I'll mention is actually just a reiteration of how versatile this mount is. I've found that this universal mount is a great way to mount my real link or my Keen Ranger pan and tilt cameras. Now I'm able to place these cameras in locations that were previously unavailable because there were no suitable mounting locations. Now keep in mind the mini ball head that I used to mount the solar panel to the teammate is not available on Art's website. I bought that separately on Amazon and that only cost me one or two dollars. Now are there any negatives or cons or things that I would change if I could? I've had zero issues with this product, so it's very hard to find something to pick on. I did find if you have a quarter 20 mount on the back of your trail camera, it's more than likely that you'll have to actually remove the teammate from the T-post to get the screw into the back of the trail camera. So in other words, mounting the trail camera with a quarter 20 mount on the back of the trail camera while the teammates are already installed on the post, it's gonna be a little bit difficult simply because of the lack of space between the teammate and the T-post. Now you can simply overcome this by removing the teammate from the post and attaching your trail camera to the teammate first and and then putting the teammate onto the T-post. Now this isn't a huge problem by any means, it's just one additional step I found myself with trail cameras that have the quarter 20 mount on the back. Now keep in mind very few trail cameras have that quarter 20 on the back. The majority of the trail cameras have it on the very bottom, in which case you are good to go and no additional steps were needed. Now the only other negative that comes to mind, and it's not truly a negative, it's just something you have to keep in mind, when impounding in your post, you wanna keep it as level as possible. Now while this universal mount has a lot of flexibility in mounting your trail camera, you can swivel it left and right, you can slide it in towards the post or out away from the post. If you have a quarter 20 mount on the back of your camera, you can slide it up and down on the universal mount. The mount can be moved up and down on the actual post. There is no adjustment, however, for the tilt. So you do want to have that post as close to level as possible to get the best results. So Art, I love the simplicity of your design and yet it's sturdy and it allows me to mount my trail camera anywhere I would like to get that perfect trail camera angle. So now I'd love to hear from you. Do you have any comments or questions? Maybe something that I didn't cover that you would have questions about or maybe you've had an experience using this product. I'd love to hear from you. Please put your comments down in the comment section. I'll be placing a link down in the description. Again, don't forget to check out that discount code. If you are interested in buying any of his products, you can use my discount code to save you some additional money. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.